Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Sport Track Touring Edition 336 VRK. It's a beautiful high-end couples model, nice and open in here. This particular model we're going to go over is in the brownstone interior. Let's start off right over here. So you have dual opposing slides in this main living area, really opening it up. One of those slides is your entertainment center. You see across the top, you have this great storage. You have the nice blue accent lighting in there as well. You can turn that off if you don't want it on, but it is a pretty cool look. They've also uh, gone to some upgraded poles on all their cabinetry. You can see how nice and thick those are. They feel good, they're easy to grab, not gonna hurt your fingers or anything. When you open it up, look at all that storage up there. That is awesome. This is above the outside kitchen. When we go outside, you'll see this one is equipped with an outside kitchen, which again, is very rare when you have this uh, floor plan, this setup. So I do like the fact they're able to put that in there. Right here is your TV in the front and center. You know, perfect. That is directly across from your theater seating. You have a good shot to it from the couch as well. Some cubby holes on both sides. Multimedia center right over here. Now this does control the speakers both in here as well as the speakers outside. It is Bluetooth capable and it's also a DVD player that is already wired to the TV. So if you wanna watch a movie, just pop it in and you're all set. On the bottom on both sides, you will see they have some additional storage there. And then right in the center underneath is your fireplace. Uh, this coach actually has two fireplaces. I'll show you the one a little bit later. And I know some people are like, oh, a fireplace and a travel trailer is just overkill. But I'm telling you, if you've never had one, you've never used one, you really will appreciate it. Because not only does it look really cool, but essentially it's a big space heater. So on those colder nights, those colder mornings, instead of burning your propane, you can turn this on. It'll do a good job of heating up the living room area here. And if you don't have to pay for electric, that is essentially free heat. Moving over a little bit, you get into the freestanding table and chairs. That's what you're gonna want in a coach like this. You know, it has that uh, more upscale look than your booth dinette, and you have other places guests can sleep, which I'll show you in a little bit. But the other great thing about a freestanding table, it's a lot easier to get in and out. You can see how much room you have here. You know, a lot of times those booth dinettes, they don't always make them to, you know, specifications that work well for you. They may be, they may have the table too high or too low or, you know, the back of the uh, dinette is too close to the table itself. But here you have that full range of flexibility. Also, you do have an electrical outlet right over on the side of the entertainment center. So if you have to, you know, do some work here at the table, plug in a laptop or tablet, you're able to do that. Windows on either side as well, let in a lot of natural light, and you have a nice view out to the campsite there. LED lights up top, you actually have those throughout the entire RV. Not only do those uh, put out less heat, but they also use a fraction of the power, so if you don't have shore power, you will get uh, more longevity out of the batteries. Now this essentially is a rear kitchen coach. Uh, you can see the beautiful solid surface countertops you have in here. Again, you know, this is an upscale quality trailer. You expect to have solid surface and they certainly delivered. Uh, we'll take a look at this back wall right over here. When I open this up, you see nice pantry in there. Those are adjustable shelves, so feel free to customize those to whatever you want. Right next to that is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Eight cubic foot, nice and big, plenty of space there. You have the drawer going across the bottom, good size freezer up top. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. The other thing I like about it is a the thermostat is right here on the outside, so it is super easy to find and adjust. Underneath the fridge, you know, they utilize space. A lot of times manufacturers just have a big blank space either on the bottom or on the top. They have gone ahead and given you this nice drawer rather than, you know, the, uh, the little door you have up top here. Because when you have a cabinet up top, sometimes it can be hard to get into, especially if you're shorter. But everyone can pretty much use that. And it's a great spot for pots, pans, anything else that you want to stick in there. Now let's get into the, uh, you know, the beautiful kitchen countertop I had mentioned. So you see you have this nice U-shaped countertop here, a ton of prep space. Because not only do they give you uh, a recessed cooktop, you also have the solid surface uh, sink top covers on there. So the whole thing is all usable space. This is nice and easy to use. You just fold it back like so. The cool thing about this is this also kind of doubles as a backsplash because the glass is nice and easy to clean. And that'll open up your three burner cooktop there with the oven here underneath. As you move over, you get into the sink. 
Take a look at this beauty. I'll remove that. You have the uh, double undermount stainless steel bowls there, you know, double equal uh, bowls, the high rise kitchen faucet. That is a pull out faucet there as well. So it does make it quite easy to wash and rinse dishes. Big window right behind, well not big, but a window rather right behind the sink. Uh, at least it lets in some natural light. That's what you're looking for. You have lights right up top here. You also have a couple electrical outlets. You'll see that you have the one right over here in case you need to plug something in. You know, it's a great spot for a coffee maker right there in that corner because it is a little bit tougher to use this as prep space back here. But if you want, you also have an additional electrical outlet right underneath there. So you can, you know, set up a toaster, blender, something like that here. Something that you're probably going to put away because you don't want your cord you know, constantly hanging there the whole time. Um, but you know, that's a, a nice feature there as well. If we take a quick look up top, you see you have storage going all the way across the top here. Open that up for you, you see the built-in shelf. It's just one big continuous storage area going all the way through. I mean, you can see here, uh, you know, so if you have some longer items, you can put them in there. But you know, that's great. Um, you know, just a huge storage. And you can see it does go all the way back in the corner there which again, you will have access to from this one right over here. Next to that is your microwave, fully functional hood with a light and fan there as well. Let's take a quick look at the storage underneath. If we peek a, peek a quick look underneath the sink here, you see large storage there, plenty of room for uh, all of your cleaning supplies, everything else that uh, you need to get to. You do have access to your valves right underneath and you'll also see your water pump is down there. So uh, for winterization purposes, it's very easy to get to. Also, you know, if it does go bad, it's uh, again, easy to fix or replace. Nice bank of four drawers right here, full extension ball bearing drawers. Not only are these long, they're also quite wide. So you can fit, you know, your normal residential size uh, silverware divider in here. And then, you know, still have plenty of drawers for all of your serving utensils, uh, you know, spatulas, large knives, things like that. The other cool thing I like about it is right over here. Take a look at this. So what you noticed is, you know, underneath the sink, they put that divider in there and they kind of had to because they had the water pump and stuff underneath. So you couldn't put a trash can there. But in, so instead they provided this right here. And if it were me, this is where I'd put my trash can. That way you don't have your trash bag hanging out. And obviously you can use it for whatever you want, but I think that is a perfect place for it. And probably uh, the intention when they built that in. Right over here, this is your second dual opposing slide. You know, like I said, really opening up this living space. This is where your dual theater seating is. Extremely comfortable, both of these do recline, that way you can kick back, relax. And as I had mentioned previously, it's a straight shot across to the TV. That way you don't have to crane your neck and you know, you can spend some time in here, especially on those rainy or muggy days or you know, if it's 115 degrees outside, you don't wanna go outside. This is a perfect place to sit and relax. Windows all the way around there too for uh, light during the day, LED lights for at night, and additional storage going across the top here. Then right over here is your sofa. Um, I like that they did this too for a couple different reasons. I mean, one, this is just a great place for interaction. You can be sitting there in the theater seating. If you have guests, they can sit here on the couch. It's just uh, you know natural to have that conversation area. It's nice and enclosed. Plus they can still watch TV. They have a good view to the TV, or maybe you wanna lay down. You know, maybe you don't wanna recline, you wanna lay down on a sofa. Great, you know, you can lay down, kinda of put your feet up over the armrest here. They're nice and comfortable, you can see that. And you still have a, a good shot to the TV. Uh, the other thing, you know, as I mentioned previously, it has freestanding table and chairs, not a booth. So if you have guests, you want a place for them to stay, this is where they would sleep. If you take a look, this is what they call a tri-fold sofa. Uh, it's you know probably the most comfortable type of sleeper sofa in the RV industry because it actually uses the cushions of the sofa here uh, rather than having your standard pull out. So it is nice and easy to make up. All you do is pull this front here up and out, fold that back part down, and there you go. There's your cushions, uh, super comfortable. So uh, again, if you do have guests, they won't hate you in the morning. They will have a comfortable night's rest. Big window there too. Electrical outlet off to the side. If guests are sitting here, they need to plug in electronics, they have a place to do it. Uh, you know, this is something that I'm sure doesn't cost the manufacturer very much money, but I think it's a great little touch. You know, at first it just looks like, uh, you know, just a nice little decoration on the wall. But if you look at it, you'll see that it, it is clear in the center. And the intention is that you put a f uh, photo of some sort in there, whether it's, you know, family or just the two of you or whatever, you know, maybe your first camping trip, stick it in there. I think it's just really cool for memories and adds a nice personal touch. If you take a look up top here, you'll see you have good extra storage going all the way across the top there. 
kind of tucks away back in there as well. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention, I do want to show you this real quick. Right over here, on the end of your cabinet to the kitchen, you know, this looks like just your, your normal end cap, but look at this. This actually opens up. Uh, this is what they call a tech box. It's pretty neat. They have a shelf built in. If you look up top, you see you have dual USB ports there, as well as your standard electrical outlet. So, uh, you know, the idea behind this is that, you know, most people today have a cell phone of some sort. And so, you know, you have to have a place to charge those. Most people, when they're camping, put them on the kitchen countertop, plug them in. Kind of clutters up your countertop, doesn't look the best. Here, you can just put them right up here, plug them in, close this, and it keeps everything nice and clean. The bathroom of the 336 has two entrances and exits, one into your main living area, the other one right here into the master bedroom. Right in between is your foot flush porcelain toilet. It's nice having a porcelain bowl on there because it's a heck of a lot easier to clean than the plastic. If you take a look right up above, it's a nice little extra storage area, probably a great place for your you know, toilet chemicals as well as maybe some extra toilet paper or something just hiding up there. Uh, if we take a look right over here. Look at this, you have a beautiful linen closet here. It's absolutely massive, a ton of space, all the room you need for towels and everything else. Right above that, you have your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. And then right over here on the ceiling, you can see the nice big skylight. Now, not only does this let in a lot of natural light, it also gives you some additional headroom. Now, I'm six foot, and as you can see, I have plenty of space here to the ceiling, but if you're a really tall person, having this skylight will give you that extra height to make sure you can shower comfortably. Uh, as you'll also notice, it's a pretty uh, good size shower here. You know I'm not the smallest guy in the world. I can turn in here quite easily. The doors themselves are great too. It has a magnetic latch on there, so when you shut it, it stays shut. And then when you open it, the water that is on the inside of the doors here runs right down the doors and into the shower pan. Rather than having a swing style door when you open it up and it goes all over your floor, or having curtains that you, know, you have to replace from mold and mildew, I do like this style of door. If we take a look right over here, you have your sink top and vanity, some uh, additional storage there underneath, Electrical outlet right up top here. They also did put your tank monitoring panel in here in case you're wondering It's not by the rest of your controls. They have it hiding right here um, You know this obviously as I mentioned will be to monitor all your tanks as well as control your water pump and your water heater One thing of note this coach uh, The water heater on this RV rather can run off both electric and propane You can turn both of those on at the same time for higher recovery And right up here is our mirrored medicine cabinet as you'll notice there is good storage behind that too one of my favorite parts about the 336 is right here in the bedroom. You can see how nice and open this is. You have a ton of space. You have a king bed in the slide out. It's very rare you get a king size bed in a travel trailer. And, then, and even more rare to have this much space on the other side of it. You'll see you have plenty of electrical outlets here too. You have one right down on the wall. So if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug it in, set it on the floor and still have your cord reach. Or right up top, you have a couple shelves. Both sides have an electrical outlet. One has a little charging center with dual USB port and 12 volt, in case you need to charge different electronic devices. Also up top, you see you have good storage there, two LED reading lights, uh, nice leather headboard as well. Not only is this king bed huge, so both of you can comfortably sleep in it without elbowing each other in the middle of the night, but you also have good storage underneath. You can see that right there. You know, they did a good job of kind of finishing it off uh, on the floor area just to give you a nice stable foundation there too. If we take a look at the very nose of the travel trailer here, you see you have a bunch of storage all the way around. I'll open this up for you so you can take a look. You kind of have a, you know what they call a his and hers wardrobe, if you will, on either side. So two large wardrobes, good place to hang clothes there. Right here in the center, additional storage space. And again, you see you have some blue LED accent lights. And just like everything else, you can shut those off if you don't want them on. And then right underneath here, you have two full extension drawers. But this is one of my favorite parts, and that's the fact they put a fireplace here in the bedroom. Not only, again, does this look really nice, but you want to talk about an excellent heater, this does the trick. The bedroom, even though it's a large for a bedroom, it's not a huge space. This thing will certainly keep you nice and toasty at night and again, will save you from having to burn your propane. Right at the foot of the bed, you have a window right here for some natural light. More storage here underneath. You see the two full extension drawers there, as well as some nice shelving. So good place for some of your folded clothes or other items you want to stick in there. And if you like to watch TV, your TV connections are right up top. 
Also, you will see there is a vent right up top here. So if you want to open up the window, open the vent up, get some cross ventilation, you know, if you don't feel like running the AC, you can certainly do that as well. Now that we've seen the beautiful interior, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Sport Trek 336 VRK. As I had mentioned, this unit is the Touring Edition. Sport Trek has two different lines, the Standard, which is a really nice trailer, then the Touring Edition, which even takes it up one step further. So we'll start right up front here on the power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to, to uh, connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. All you have to do is touch the button to raise and lower the tongue. Then you also have a little light on here at night too. It's a LED light. So if you need that little bit extra, uh, you do have some light there. Right behind that, your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover, very easy to get into. Just undo the thumb screws, drop these down, open up the door, and you can access the tanks right there. Behind that, you have rails for your battery box. And then coming up the front here, this is really cool. Rather than going with the diamond plating, you can, if you get really close, you can see kind of the ripples in here. It has a nice rock guard on there. It's a much cleaner look and it does an excellent job of protecting. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, paints or anything on here chipping like you kind of do with some of the uh, uh, diamond plating they put on there. Again, I just think it gives it that high-end quality look. And naturally, that is placed on this gorgeous front cap. You know, that's one of the, it's one of the kind of the signs you're into a higher end travel trailers and they put a front cap on it because they're not cheap to put on there. Not only does this add some extra insulation on the front and give it that full complete look, but it also, because the edge wraps back, it's less chance for any kind of water intrusion. You'll see that on the top too. It kind of goes back a little bit. So it's not just one hard seam where two corners are meeting up. Also on the front, you'll notice right here, they do have some LED lights. So you can turn those on, you know, it gives it a, a really cool look at night there as well. Just a great looking rig all together. We take a look at the side, you know, you can see the nice color. It's kind of like a, like an oyster almost, uh, you know, just like a slight light brown, really nice shade that, the, you know, a couple of the manufacturers have gone with this year. Right here, solar prep, uh, Furion brand. So if you do want solar, all I have to do is buy the Furion brand panels and they, they are uh, generally pretty product specific, whether it's Zamp or Furion. So you will want to make sure it's the Furion panels there. Uh, plug that in and that will go ahead and trickle charge your battery. Pass through storage here. You can see that this does have a covered hinge. So you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door. Also, it's a magnetic latch. So you can just kind of put that up just like so and it uh, stays right there. If you take a look at the pass through, decent storage in there. Uh, you have an LED light right up here on the side. You'll see a couple light switches there too. One is for your LED light up front. The other one uh, lights up the stairs underneath and the jacks. And then there's also a battery disconnect right, hidden right there. So again, you know, it's kind of a sign that's a little bit higher end travel trailer as well, having that battery disconnect. And it's super convenient. Rather than having to constantly get in your battery box and unstrapping it and then having to disconnect the battery, just flip it and you're good to go. Slam latch baggage doors here as well. You don't have to, you know, turn anything. Just slam them shut and lock them up when you leave. Uh, right up top, nice large power awning there. The cool thing about this coach though is not only do you have the big power awning there, you have a secondary one right there on your slide. So two very large awnings. Uh, just touch of a button to have them both roll out. Same thing to go back in. What you will notice is the one on the slide, because you have a big window and an outside kitchen there, you get an upgraded awning because you can't have the vertical arms coming down, so it has the horizontal ones instead. That's a high-end, carefree Colorado awning. It has a wind sensor built in. So, you know, on that one, if it starts to get too windy, it rolls itself back up. And you literally touch a button, it rolls itself out back in. They both have LED light strips on there. Uh, but, you know, the cool thing about it, though, is this whole entire side is all awning coverage, which is phenomenal. And if you notice, you don't have any vents here. You know, that's a lot of times that's what's a killer of your campsite. You have this beautiful awning. Then you have a water heater vent here, you know, or your furnace vent. It's just constantly blowing hot air, your refrigerator, whatever it may be. But on this coach, they are all on the other side. So great camp space. Uh, the windows themselves, frameless windows here. Not only do these look really nice, but they also have a couple other advantages. One, the seal itself is actually tucked behind the glass, so that way it's not constantly getting beat up by UV and other elements. It's protected a little bit better. 
Two, because of the way these open, they essentially tilt open like this, that allows you to have them open while it's raining. So that way you can still get a nice cross breeze, doesn't get all muggy inside, you don't have to run your AC. Uh, you know, so I do like the uh, frameless window option. Now, you know, like everything else, there's a slight disadvantage. They don't give you as much airflow as you know, your slider windows or uh, anything like that. But my opinion, the pros outweigh the cons. If you take a look right down below here, you see the power stabilizer jacks. Cool thing about this, most manufacturers, they put on power stabilizer jacks. You have one control for the front, then another control in the back. Here, each jack has its own individual control, so you get more control out of it. You know, you can move those jacks individually, which is really great. And you'll see those right underneath here. You know, here's your jack right there. The other thing you'll see while we're taking a look down here is a couple things. One, huck bolt frame. Huck bolt frame has an advantage over weld. Uh, you know, your, your frame, the number one place it generally uh, rusts out at is on a weld seam. So by eliminating that weld seam, it's less likely that rust is going to form there. Uh, also, if you do get in any kind of accident, you have some damage, the huck bolt frame is easier to repair, meaning it is less expensive for you. Also, you'll see right down here, you have a spare tire. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to. You have this guy right here, you put the tool on there, shows you exactly which way you have to turn it. You know, it's uh, pretty simple, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, right? So loosen it up, drop it down, grab your tire. Hopefully you never have to use that, but if you do, you know it's riding right back there for you. Uh, moving a little bit further here, if we kind of take a look back up top, you see two exterior speakers. Those are actually pretty neat. They have LED lights in them as well, so they light up at night, looks really cool. Uh, but those are controlled by that multimedia center inside I had showed you, and as I mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. So you can be sitting out here with your smartphone or tablet and be able to connect to that multimedia center via Bluetooth. That way you can control your music without constantly going in and out of the coach. You have upgraded stairs, more ride steps here. These are really cool. Um, if you haven't seen them before, you know some of your high-end manufacturers, your high-end fifth wheels like Montana, a couple others are utilizing these as well. And I love them. You know, far, for far too many years, we have the same rollout steps. And these ones, look how sturdy these are. I mean, I can, I can jump on this, it doesn't flex. You know, so if you're a little bit older and you have bad knees, you know, or you know, you don't like that wobbly sensation of going in and out of the coach or how, you know, your coach may rock a little, this is the solution. Uh, aluminum steps, they won't rust out on you. They have the grip strips on there. Foldable, easy grab handle here as well. So you can quickly and easily uh, enter and exit the coach with great control. As far as uh, how you put them away, so you open this door up just like so, and what these do is they will actually fold up and into place. Right, they fold in just like that, lock into place, you're good to go. To uh, have them drop back down, you have this little crank here, you turn this, that then will unlock it, allow it to drop back down when you get to your campsite. It really is super simple in order to uh, you know, drop those down and put them away. So as I had mentioned inside, one of my other favorite parts about the coach is the outside kitchen. Most times to get an outside kitchen on a travel trailer, it has to be a bunkhouse model. Some of the rear bath models will have one as well, but it's very rare you have a beautiful rear kitchen with that great entertainment area. You know, having a theater seat right across from your TV, that gives you this style outside kitchen. So take a look at this. We open this guy up. Again, you have that big awning over top, but this kind of doubles as a second one here. You have the nice larger fridge. You know, a lot of times the outside kitchens, it's half this size, not the case here. Nice and big, plenty of room for all your beverages, condiments, everything else you want to put in there. Storage across the top here, you know, perfect for all of your plates, cups, everything else you need to stick in there. LED light to make it nice and bright out here at night. Electrical outlet, in case you need to plug anything in, maybe you want an electric griddle right here, great, plug it in there. Uh, you have a sink here with a faucet as well, little drop down guy there if you need to put like a sponge or something in there. Pull out drawer here underneath the fridge. You know, great spot for all of your, you know, personally I use plasticware when I can't, but if you want to bring, you know, real silverware, you can do that too. Then right over here is your cooktop. So you pull this guy out, flip it up, uh, propane connection is underneath, just hook up the propane and you're good to go. Now bear in mind, you know, if you want to use a grill rather than a cooktop, you can still do that. You have plenty of space here, put your grill here, again, hook it up to that same quick connect underneath the coach and you're grilling away. Let's take a quick look at some of the features on the back of the 336. Uh, we'll start right up top. You see right in the center there, you have a backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, 
It's a lot less expensive to have installed. It's basically a, pl a plug and play. This is a pretty large travel trailer, so it may not be a bad idea to have one installed there. Also, you have the rear mounted ladder. This is a foldable ladder. You see it folds up just like so. You kind of push it down here to lock it into place. Uh, you know, when you're ready, you pop it out and fold it back down. It locks in right here but that will allow you to easily climb up onto the roof. Now on any RV, I recommend getting up there at least once, probably twice a year, just to examine, make sure everything's still looking good. Uh, you know, in the event you don't wanna get up on your roof, you can always bring your RV here by American RV. We'll gladly get up there for free and take a look for you. Now, in order to drop this ladder down, one of the things you do have to do is drop this down. And I love the fact that you get this on here. Uh, the reason being, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you attach things to a bumper of an RV, most manufacturers will void your entire one year or two year warranty that you normally get. They'll void it out completely. So by having this built in from the manufacturer, you know it will still honor your warranty. And this is great, it's excellent storage. You have a couple pins, pull them out, drop it down, lock it back into place. You can put totes back there, wood, bikes. You know, you have a center bar here you can attach bikes to. Uh, I just love the fact that it comes with this. And even when you get to the campsite, you want to use it as an extra table or something, you can do that too. Uh, underneath, you do have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. I do want to point that out. So if you're camping in some of the uh, colder climates, you don't have to worry about your tanks or anything freezing up on you. Let's take a look at some of the hookups on the off door side here. You see right here, 50 amp connection. Uh, you know, you're going to want a 50 amp. This one obviously is running an AC in two fireplaces. so. Uh, you know, if you need to step down, it does come with your 30 amp step down as well. City water connection right there, fresh water inlet right there. They're nice and labeled for you, so you're not going to get them confused. Water heater right over here to the side. As I mentioned, you know, all your vents are on this side here. Underneath, you'll see a termination. This one actually has two terminations. You have the one here, you'll have another one up front. I will show you in just a minute. If you're at a site where you know you have the dump right there, I recommend getting a Y, Y in it together to dump in. Otherwise, if you're just you know pulling through a normal dump station, dump the first one, pull it forward a little bit more, dump the second one, it's pretty easy. Take a look underneath the slide here. Look at the wheels. Those are great looking wheels. You have aluminum alloy on there, so they're not gonna rust on you. Uh, and also you have nitrogen filled tires. So that way you'll keep pressure a little bit longer in your tires. That's an important thing too. You know, when it comes to safety, make sure you're constantly checking the tire pressure before you head out. You wanna make sure you're staying within a healthy range. That way again, hopefully you never have to get at that spare tire. Right here's your outside shower. This does have both hot and cold water access. Nice hand wand there as well. Black tank flush right here underneath. This is so you don't have to drag a hose into the RV and stick it down the toilet to wash out your black tank. You just stick it right there. That black tank has sprayers in it and it washes it out for you. Right underneath here, that's your second termination. That's what I was talking about. So again, you know, if you need to wire those two together, it is easy enough to do that. The other thing I really like about this coach that I wanted to point out is right here. So, uh, you know, when we looked at the pass through, you might be saying, well, Ian, it's not a huge pass through and it's not, it's decent size, but it's not the biggest out there. They certainly make up for it with this right here. You get this large access. This uh, is access to storage underneath the bed. But again, you know, you have all this right here that you probably can't reach underneath the bed. This makes it easy to get to from outside. Just great storage options. Still slam latch, still magnetic up here too. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Sport Trek 336 VRK. This one is the Grand Touring Edition. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.